One that's made me laugh recently is this promotion of methylene blue. I've seen a lot of this too. I haven't deep dived <laughs> methylene blue enough to have like a firm position as to what does it do? Is it beneficial? What are the adverse effects? That would take weeks to do. But just at a high level, the logical inconsistency is what makes me laugh. You see a lot of folks in the kind of biohacking community, they'll quite often just talk about how if something's not natural, it's not healthy, we should be eating like our ancestors. One of the common things they'll pick on is they'll say like vegetable oils or seed oils, they're toxic because they're made with synthetic chemicals. And then these very same people are now hyping methylene blue from what I understand from mitochondrial function, which is a big buzzword in that community, unknowingly, or at least not conveying it, that methylene blue itself is a synthetic. It's not a natural compound. It's manufactured. It was first used in the textile industry as a blue dye. And so without even double clicking and looking at is methylene blue effective or not, I just find it kind of laughable that someone can hold those two positions. This is bad because it's synthetic, not natural. Over here, take this for <laughs> mitochondrial health. It's a <laughs> synthetic textile dye.